was that? An earthquake, I think. Lucas, come on. We should go outside. That was a bit scary. Are you guys okay? Yes, but what happened? There was an earthquake. What causes earthquakes, though? Earthquakes happen when the tectonic plates of the Earth either move away from each other, past each other, or towards each other. What are those tonic plates that you mentioned? Tectonic plates are extremely thick parts of the Earth's crust and upper mantle. Their movements are so strong that they can even change the position and appearance of a continent over the course of millions of years. Where can we see those tectonic plates? We can't see the plates themselves, but we can see the results of their movements. For instance, if the tectonic plates diverge, that is, move apart. A rift is created that allows magma to escape from below the surface. Sometimes volcanoes are formed this way. If the tectonic plates converge, that is, move together and collide, mountains are formed. By looking at maps, we can tell where those plates meet or diverge from each other. My mom uses maps when she's driving. Yes, she uses a street map to find an address. But to see where mountains and volcanoes are on the Earth, we need a different kind of map, such as a topographic map. If there is a mountain range in one area, for instance, chances are that there are two tectonic plates that converge there. We live near the mountains. Does that mean that the tectonic plate under us is moving? Yes, that's why there was an earthquake. Cool. I wonder where else in the world these tectonic plates are moving and causing earthquakes. Well, Owen, I think it's safe to go back inside the house now. Why don't we go look at a map and find out? Are you also wondering where the tectonic plates are and how they are moving? Grab a map and have fun exploring.